गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू योर केमिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन क्लास लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फिनोल्स सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एल्कोहल्स सो फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज कंसिस्ट ऑफ द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड सोलिबिलिटी इन वाटर सो इफ यू चेक द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आवर फिन एल्कोहल्स वी कैन सी दैट इट हैविंग टू एंड्स दैट इज a non polar portion and polar portion polar portion means the hydroxyl group non polar means the alkyl group polar means which is contain charge this is uncharged portion here you can see the structure and due to this polar portion uh, this uh, which which part is dominating that will decide its physical property for example if hydroxyl group are more then it will determines its the property of the compound similarly if uh, carbon chain is and the it's depend on the carbon chain number of carbons and all those thing so uh, the boiling point and solubility depends on several factors that is number of hydroxyl group uh, the length of the carbon chain and branching of the compound there are several um, factors affecting their physical properties so uh here you can see the structure so the physical property the first one is boiling point of alcohols so uh if we compare the boiling point of uh, its parent um uh compared to the hydro alkene we can see so here you can see the propyl and ethanol and the propane boiling point is very less compared to our alcohol alcohols having high boiling point why because uh, if we check the molecular uh, mass is similar for ethanol it is 46 but propane it is 44 so it is almost similar even though uh, there is a boiling point difference because uh, the alcohol group which consist uh, hydrogen bond so there is we can see the hydrogen bond between the compound in between there is intermolecular hydrogen bond so inside the molecule there is hydrogen bond that is known as intermolecular hydrogen bond we can see the intermolecular hydrogen bond so here we can see the intermolecular hydrogen bond hence in order to break this intermolecular hydrogen bond it requires high amount of energy so the boiling point will be high this is the main reason why alcohols having high boiling point and if we compare uh, the boiling point uh, the structures if number of hydroxyl group exist then what will happen to the boiling point for example here you can see the molecular mass and you can see the variation of boiling point so hence here only one hydroxyl group here two one if we check here if number of hydroxyl group increasing the boiling point also increasing so uh, boiling point of alcohols increases with the increasing number of hydroxyl groups present so if the greater number of hydroxyl group present so the, there will be more boiling point because the compound will having more hydrogen intermolecular hydrogen bond so in order to break this hydrogen bond we need to give extra energy so it will take time to boil so it will take time to attain a certain amount so uh, it require high boiling point so if a compound having uh, more number of hydroxyl group it having high boiling point then um, number of carbon that is length of the carbon chain so if we check here uh, hydroxyl group attached to one carbon uh and methanol ethanol so in there is increasing of the carbon chain so the length of the carbon chain so increasing the length of the carbon chain automatically the larger the electron cloud towards uh, to the hydroxyl group so it is more easily distorted structure so strong van der waar forces between the molecules so we know if there are uh, more carbon chain there will be strong van der waals force so hence in order to break the bond 
we again if you you can see here the boiling point is increasing so if the number of carbon chain if length of the carbon chain increases the boiling point also increases because in order to break this bond uh, it takes so much time it takes so much energy so if now if the length of the carbon chain or number of carbon atoms increasing then the boiling point also increases then um, branching uh, if we check this compound here it is a straight chain compound straight chain compound and this is uh, two methyl um, propanol so if you check two methyl propanol there is a branching In second position there is a branching there is a methyl group attached to the parent chain that is this parent chain so what we have seen here here if there is a branching the uh, boiling point is decreasing why because um, so boiling point decreases with the branching of chain because the structure will be more spherical and there will be smaller surface area compared to this one it is having small surface area between the molecules so uh, the van der Waals force also decreases hence the boiling point also decreases then solubility lower alcohols from c1 to c3 that is uh, methanol ethanol propanol are completely soluble in water due to their ability to form hydrogen bonds with water and even though there is hydrogen bond in between the compound it is having the high ability to make hydrogen bond with the water so they are readily soluble in water and um, if we check other alcohol molecules higher alcohols they are uh, they are also readily soluble in water because um, but uh, not like lower alcohols because there is a energy for there is energy released by the formation of H bond where if we are adding alcohol to the water what will happen is there is some energy will release because uh, there is a formation between hydrogen bonds between alcohol and water but this energy is sufficient to overcome H bonds between water molecules and between alcohol molecules so uh, compared to the lower alcohols higher, higher alcohols having less solubility because the energy releasing by the hydration will be very more in order to overcome the bond between hydrogen and uh, the hydrogen bond between alcohol and water These are the physical properties of um, our alcohols and let's see the physical properties of phenol in next class i hope you understood this topic it's a very easy topic so uh, in next class we will discuss the physical properties of phenols okay thank you